As the video starts off, Aiden is going to take a walk. Ah, what a beautiful day it is today, I think I might take a walk, because after all, Kara did say that fresh air is good for you. Yeah 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 yeah. In this scene, Craig is showing Boris and Caillou his new tank. Wow! That's an awesome tank you got there my guy. Oh, why thanks little man, I saved up for 5 years to buy this beast, and believe me, it was worth it. Aiden shows up, and Greg, Boris and Caillou don't notice him. Aiden steals Greg's tank. That's so awesome, hey, can I take it for a drive? I have always wanted to drive a tank. Forget it Caillou, you are way too young to be driving that thing around, and besides, you would probably be reckless. I hate to say this, but your dad is right, you are way too young to be driving something like this around, so, maybe when you're older yeah. Okay, yeah, I understand. Boris and Caillou noticed that Greg's tank was gone, but Greg didn't notice. Um, hey man, I think we might have a slight problem right now. What, what are you talking about? Well, it's about your tank, it's gone and we think someone may have stolen it. What in the ever of living fudge Sunday, you cannot be serious. Greg turns around and is furious that his tank is gone. Oh my freaking god. My tank, my most prized possession, that I spent 5 years saving up for is gone, some evil person stole it, now I am mad. Well they're not going to get away with this. Greg runs off to find the culprit. Meanwhile, back at the cousin house, an annoyed Kara was wondering where Aiden was. Ugh. Where on earth has that man got to? I swear if he's getting up to some kind of shenanigans then I am going to be very annoyed. Just then, Lenny and Emily come outside and meet up with Kara. Hey Kara, is everything okay? You sound a little annoyed, is it Aiden again? Is he being an idiot? I don't know, but I reckon he is, because he isn't here right now Lenny and Emily, and I can't seem to find him anywhere. I'm sure it's nothing. Maybe he just went for a walk or something, at least he's doing something besides throwing a tantrum, because he can't open the peanut butter, or because an airing of Barney the Dinosaur got cancelled. Well, I hope you are right Emily, because if he has gone off to pull off some crazy shenanigan then, I am so done. Aiden shows up and Lenny, Emily and Kara were shocked when the three of them noticed Aiden had a huge tank. Why hello there family, I am home. Oh my god. Aiden. What in the world is that thing? Oh this old thing? Why, it is a tank, of course, isn't that awesome? Aiden Fitzgerald, just where on earth did you get that tank from? You didn't steal it did you? Because those things cost a fortune, and I know you don't have the money for one. Aiden lies to Kara. I am, found it. Just then, Greg shows up and confronts Aiden for stealing his tank. Emily and Lenny go back inside the house. And Greg tells Kara about what Aiden did. Hey! That's my tank. Just what on earth do you think you are playing at? I'm sorry Uncle Greg, but what are you doing here? Why, I am the owner of that tank right there Kara, and is this man sitting in my tank your cousin Aiden? Yes, I'm afraid so. Well Kara, Aiden right there stole this tank from me and I would like to have it back now, otherwise I will have no choice but to call the police. Ugh, I am so sorry about what my cousin did. Don't worry, I will make sure that he gives it back to you. Kara tells Aiden to give the tank back to Greg, but Aiden refuses to and says that he claims ownership of the tank. Alright Aiden, you had your fun, now it's time to give this tank back to its rightful owner. No, I don't want to. I want to keep this tank, it is my tank now. No it isn't, it's mine, and you stole it from me, so, I would like to have it back please. Do you have any idea how long it took me to save up for that? Five years. Oh shut up you fat bloater. I do not give a flying Barney the dinosaur's face. How long it took you to save up? I now claim ownership of this tank and that is final. Aiden calls Greg fat and Carrie yells at Aiden and makes him cry. Aiden, stop it. Just stop it. That is not your tank. It belongs to Uncle Greg right here. So you better give it back right now mister. Wah! Kara, please stop yelling at me. You are very scary. When you yell and I don't like it, wah! You entitled Karen of a cousin. Greg is disgusted at Aiden's childish behavior, and Kara tells Greg about Aiden and Connor's backstory. Good God, what is wrong with that man? Well basically, 
His mother was clumsy and she dropped him and Connor on their heads when they were babies and basically, it slowed down their brain development which results in them acting childish and aggressive. Oh, I see. And I don't care, this does not excuse what your cousin did and I have had enough. Greg decides to make a deal with Aiden. Alright buddy, you got two choices, either you get out of my tank now, or I will drag you out of it myself. No! Please don't drag me out, I don't want to give this tank back wa Oh for crying out loud Aiden, just give our uncle his tank back then we can forget about this whole thing, sheesh. Also, if you don't give me my tank back, then I will get the cops here, and they will take you to jail and you will be put in a cell with the big, scary criminals. Oh no! I don't want that, okay, fine, you can have your dumb tank back you fat blob. Aiden gets out of the tank, and Kara apologizes to Greg about what Aiden did. There we go, that wasn't too difficult was it? Well, now that is all over with, I will be on my way now. Alright, and once again, I am so so sorry for what my cousin did, I will make sure that he doesn't pull a stunt like this again, you have my word. 